Hi everybody, Toby Barnett with Keller Williams Realty here for another 360 tour. And today we're out in Lake Stevens at 823 East Lakeshore Drive to take a look at a lovely view home that has a, a view of Lake Stevens and also the amenities in this place are fantastic. So for more information regarding uh, status, uh, actual square footage, price, and all that, please see the description down below as all that information will be updated. Also, if you want to get a private tour of this home, please contact Mickey Barnett at 425-750-9090 or Mickey, M-I-C-K-I-E, at barnettassociates.net. So without further ado, join me on this tour. And you have a two-car garage with grand entryway That opens up to vaulted ceilings, formal living, dining, hardwood floors, and more. So that as you walk into your main floor, you'll notice the large kitchen that's granite, granite countertops, big center island with cooktop, as well as all the cabinet space. And then from your kitchen window, you get a great view of Lake Stevens and get to see who, what the weather's like as well as how many people are on the lake. Also, don't forget that you can eat, pause and pan this camera around while it's either live or paused. So that way you can take a closer look of any of the features that may have missed as I'm walking around. Your main living also features space large windows that allow all the natural light in as well as give you the view of the lake. Now this room is wired for sound, natural gas fireplace, and spacious and open. So you have Trex decking, see-through glass uh, uh, deck rails, so that way your view is not obstructed by anything. You got a Trex deck and two doors that go into the inside. One just off the kitchen in the formal dining and the other off the main living area. So that way if you're barbecuing and you're cooking, you don't have to take your food and all the way through the house just to get you to your dining room table, which makes it nice for entertaining and easy living. Continuing on your main floor, you have a guest bath as well as a den office or or additional bedroom because it does have a closet now before we go downstairs we're going to go upstairs and look at the master and all the guest bedrooms and you also have your downstairs laundry and two car garage that's just off the laundry but we're not going to go check that out so again, hardwoods throughout the whole main floor, except for the formal living area and the uh, office. Oh, I mean, just in the formal living area, I'm sorry. So let's head upstairs. Going left at the top of the stairs, we'll take you to the guest bath, which is roomy, has its own built-in linen closet as well as a lot of cabinet space. Your two guest bedrooms. Your second guest bedroom.
in your third guest bedroom or slash workout room, depending on how you want to decorate your home, is just at the top of the stairs. Build on the lake as well, the lake views, the master looks has three big windows that look right out over onto the lake. As you can see, there's no trees that are blocking the view, so it's unobstructed. The master also features its own private balcony. extend your master bedroom out here with tables, chairs, and just even for private sunbathing. And here you have your master bath with soaking jetted tub, dual vanities, walk-in closet, big spacious shower, as well as a privacy bath. You also have your built-in linen closet as well. So a lot of amenities in the master bedroom that most typical homes don't have. As you can see, there's large furniture, so you can see really see the space in this, in this master. So that's it, that's it for upstairs. So let's go down to the lower level where we have a permitted mother-in-law that has features two bedrooms, living room, and a full bath. There's also private entry from the outside as well as entry from the inside of the home. So you have a common area that starts here with downstairs laundry, utility room, and storage that features or contains the hot water tank and furnace, which are both on natural gas. Custom lint trap area to act for the dryer. A, uh, actually a tandem two-car garage that you could use either for storage or have your tenant or whoever's using your mother-in-law have their own private parking. So you have your guest bath, which you see is also very spacious and roomy. Now it has areas for linen and extra storage. You have your main living area with full kitchen, full size full kitchen, nice seating area, and your slider to your private porch. The garage also features a man door, so you don't have to go in and out just to access your garage. Nice feature to have, especially if you don't want to dirty up the carpets too much. We'll take a quick look at the master that features two closets, one to my left and the other one off to my right. In addition to being a mother-in-law, this area could be easily converted into an entertainment, theater, or some other type of room to ex in expand the living area of the home if you don't want to keep it a mother-in-law. But as it is right now, it's set up for a mother-in-law and rents for about $1,000 a month, which you could probably get more based on the square footage, the size, location of this, of this property. So, 
Well, let's head back upstairs. We'll take one last look, you know, at the view from the main deck in the kitchen. But again, in the description below, we'll have all the act, all the current details of the property, as well a link to the drone video, so you guys can see the aerials, its proximity to the lake. Listing agent con information, and, and as well as, you know, uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe. So we can start bringing you, we can keep bringing you 360 content, drone videos, and check out our other social pages like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So thanks for joining me on this tour, and we look forward to seeing you at the other one. Again, I'm Toby Barnett with Keller Williams Realty, and you've just been on a 360 home tour in Lake Stevens.